Welcome back to NSTV. It's time to take to the skies again, this time to the country's smallest province. That seems to be on everyone's bucket list. So tara na, time to explore the enchanting islands of Batanes. After a two-hour flight, we finally arrived in Basco, Batanes. Batanes is known for its unique rock formations, rolling hills, lighthouses, free-roaming horses and cattle, the seasides, and offers every tourist a calming and peaceful escape from the busy city. So we're finally here in Batanes, the country's most northern province. Kasama natin si... Ro Rose. Oh, nakalimutan niya ang pangalan niya. Pero Rose. Hillside Lodge. Hillside Lodge, that's where we're staying. It used to be called Stone... Stone, Stone Lodge. Lodge, and she's the caretaker of this place. Uh, so this is where we're going to be staying for the next three days. Yeah. So, ano pala mag hello dito sa sa Batanes? Mabuhay. Aganong ah, din pala. <laughs> Pero may may pagbaw. Wow. No? May pagbaw. So sa bayan tay one two three. Mabuhay. Oh, <laughs> so every time we go around the island, <laughs> makikipag mabuhay an tayo sa kanila lahat. So tara. Let's check out the rooms that Okay. Then. Take a moment and let it all sink in like a road trip. This life is. This is the summer of memories. We won't forget these nights. Jumping in the water, sitting around the fire, singing songs like howling. We finally settled in, so now it's time to start our tour. Our first stop, we headed downtown for some photo ops and began our discovery of the province's rich history. Raindrops on our faces, late night stargazes, and questioning the meaning of this life. This is the summer of memories We won't forget these nights Jumping in the water, sitting around the fire Our next stop, the Basco Cathedral Also known as the Cathedral of Santo Domingo de Guzman Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception Cathedral And the Santo Domingo de Basco Church Built in 1783, the church has been dedicated to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception The Patroness of the Province it was also later dedicated to Saint Dominic, the patron saint of Basco. We won't forget, we won't forget these. Hey 
Now it's time to check out a unique beach with an interesting story. Grabe ang ganda dito. This is the first time I've ever seen ganito klaseng ano ano place, no? Sobrang perfect. No, grabe. We can probably spend hours here. What can you say about the the, the water? Gusto ko to malon pero nakakatakot the waves. <laughs> pero according to our guide, si Sir si Kuya Mel, pag amihan daw medyo kalmado yung water. Pero And what is the name of this place? Kasi Balugan Boulder Beach. You know why? No. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you why. Balugan means Silangan or East. So we are actually on the east side of Batanes. Bakit Boulder? Obvious ba? <laughs> <laughs> well, ma may sampu lang naman na Boulder na inuupuan or tinatayuan tayo. Hindi, pero maraming Boulders daw na in different parts of Basco, Batanes. And they all came from Mount Iraya. Yan, yeah, the tallest peak here. Um, there was an eruption, I think, more than 400 years ago. Yeah. So you see all these types of, of uh, boulders all over the island. Pero pag dumating daw yung bagyo, baliwala yan. Dinadala yan papunta sa shore. Lakas. Ganda, ganda dito. Sarap tumambay. Um, sayang lang, hindi pwede mag-swimming. But I'm sure we can go to Batanes. So, so I ano? guess, I'll just go back here. I'll just go back here. Let's go! Okay, let's go guys! So, we're here today in the Japanese tunnel. No? So, these were used by the Japanese during the war. Ginawa nila, they paid yung mga Ivatans, the locals here, to make this tunnel. We have no idea how deep it is, but it's definitely dark. And uh, sabi nila, damp. And sometimes may snakes. So hopefully, wala today. Anyway, samaan tayo ni Kuya Mel just to make sure na makakabalik kami at makakalabas ng paayos. Kasama ko ang matatapang na si Gino at si Nico. Ano guys? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> the Dipnai Supu and Japanese tunnel was made between 1941 and 1945. There are five exit points and inside are a few chambers, some bunkers, and a water reservoir. The bunker served as the Japanese lookout during the battle with the Americans. Here at Mount Carmel Church, actually it's a chapel, no, but they also call it uh, Tukon Chapel. Um, one of the more popular churches or chapels for those even coming from Manila. Uh, it's one of the few 
uh, chapels or churches here that are actually patterned after the traditional Ivatan type of structure. And also it's at the top of a mountain, that's why it's pretty popular. Very nice view. Um, so I understand we have a lot of people come here just to get married. Very nice place. So now we're here at another church, the Simbahan ng Mahataw, or, or also known as San Carlos Borromeo Church. Um, one of the more popular churches here. Um, from what we see, the architecture seems to be Baroque style. Um, let's go inside para malaman natin what's inside. But at the same time, we were told that there's a room here where you can actually find empty pages or empty books where you can just write anything, scribble anything you want. Whether it's a wish or any thought in your mind. So that, let's check it out. Our next stop, an octagon-shaped structure that overlooks the ocean. Another perfect spot for photo aficionados. So we finally made here to Raku Apayaman, also known as Marlboro Country. That's right. So from our bucket list, that's a big check. Napakaganda naman talaga, di ba, Herbie? Sobra. Sobra. The minute we arrived here, we were just staring blankly at everything. It was really picturesque at the very least. It's hard to explain. Tama yung sabi nila. Iba if you're here, that can you really get, you know, imbibe. The whole, the whole place. Chaka na kaka proud na part siya ng Pilipinas. That's true. Though when you're here, you actually think na si Pilipinas na ba? Correct. <laughs> you forget na na sa Pinas parin to, na sa tok tok lang ng Pilipinas. Pero sabi nila they made it Marlboro Country dahil mukhang Marlboro dun sa commercial. It's Tama? commercial. You commercial nang uh, cigarettes from way, 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 way back. Sabi nila. <laughs> no, but this place is still in the uh, in the barangay or no, sorry, the municipality of Mahatao. Mahatao. and it's a common uh, pasture land. No, um, so ganda, ganda. Parang everywhere you look, ang ganda na view. Ay mga animals, mga baka, oh, malaya sila. Na kanina pa namin nagaan, kanina pa kami na di discussion kasi sinasabi ni Nico, tumatakbo ra mga baka dito, which I doubt because I haven't seen them. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm not an expert. But hey guys, check this out. Beautiful.
Alapad Rock Formation is among the most visited tourist attractions in Batan Island. Located in Uyugan, Batanes, this rock formation serves as one of the iconic sites of the province. It is an inclined rock facing the Pacific Ocean and was naturally carved by nature's elements, formed out of the strong water current and tectonic movements. So we finally made it here to the Honesty Store. Yeah, ganun pala yung lakaran dito. So, so nakakuha na ng ilang items. Yeah, so apparently, you just go in, select from which uh, of the many products that they have available, and you just pay through the parang box there. There's a slot where you can put your payment. So be prepared na wala nang suklian. So, or you have the option of paying with the exact uh, amount. Ayun. Ang dami nilang items, no? And I heard nag-start sila dati ng ano, tinapay lang, yep. small lang. Tsaka... Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, yeah. And tapos ngayon, ang dami na. May t-shirt pa, may mga uh, keychains. May nakita kami mga keychains sa loob. So, I guess lumaki siya. So, I guess that means pwedeng i-assume na honest ang mga tao. Yeah. And sana it can work also in other places. If it can work here, why not in other places? Anyway, it's nice to finally check out and see this popular, iconic place here in Batanas. Let's go hit the next stop. Okay, so matitikman natin finally ang uh, local Ibatan dish, no? And we were ready for that Ivatan cuisine. In the first wrap, there's Lunis, Batanes take on the popular dish adobo. The second wrap is actually called supas, which is rice cooked in turmeric pulp that's often mixed with garlic and pork. There's also Lunes, made of preserved taro stalks that are first soaked in water. Afterward, it's cut and minced, then cooked with pork and sponge guard. Third, Uvit. It's made of finely grated corn that's mixed with ground meat and minced fish. Good morning, it's day two here in Batanes and we had a good night's sleep here at Hillside Lodge today. It's day two and we're heading, at least in the morning, Sabtang Island. So tara, let's go! Ito pala yung traditional nila dito na bangka, yung tataya. Tataya. Yan. U-haul shape siya. Uh, dati din sa guwan yung ganyan. Hindi yung ganun. But now they're, they're, they're motorized. Pero ngayon, ang gagamitin natin patawid papunta sa bata, yung tinatawag na palawa. Palawa. Yan. Ito. Kayang-kaya daw niya yan. Kahit uh, over a hundred passengers. So, ang biyahe, about 25 to 30 yung pa. 25 to 30 minutes. At ano na, punta na tayo sa Sabtan. Sabtang Island is one of the major islands among them, yet the smallest among the three that are actually inhabited. The best way to get there is from the Ivana port. Now 
Nandito po tayo ngayon dito sa Morong Beach. Sabi nga ni Herbie, Batanes, hindi Bataan. Uh, wow. Marami pong pumupunta dito dahil napaka-iconic naman nga nitong Mayahaw Ark. Um, anong ibig sabihin ng Mayahaw? Uh, sa salita ng mga iba ta, ang ibig sabihin nun ay eh, butas na uh, see-through. Tama ba? Hindi. Hindi ba? <laughs> hindi ba? <laughs> butas na... Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ba yun alam? Pass-through! Pass-through. Pass -through. Pasensya na, wala pa masyadong kape. Pero marami nga nagpapapicture dito. Obviously, kung bakit? Ang ganda, no? Natural formation made out of the sun, the sand, and of course the sea. And interestingly enough, it's mostly made out of limestone, no? which the Ivatans use to build their stone houses. Galing, no? And anyway, marami pa raw, sabi ni Kuya Mel, na pwedeng tingnan doon, may kuweba pa raw na pwedeng silipin. So, no? let's go! Let's go! We've got a story to discover, a new life to begin. We may not know where we're going, but we know where we've been. So Ang tawag dito, wakul. 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 Protection sa init, sabi. So sa lalaki na may ganito ginagamit nila. Apo. Ano Saka, tawag dito? Uh, alugong. Alugong. Tapos ito naman, kanay. Kanai, kanai, eh, di sa baba, eh, kanai din yan. Kanai din po ito. <laughs> Alika, picture tayo. Savidug Village features the early life of the Ivatans, the indigenous people of Patanes. In the small barangay, you will find the traditional Sinadumparan houses. You all of my heart and take the price that comes with love, so won't you come? Chamantad Tinian Viewpoint is one of the highest viewing sites in Sabdang. The vast landscape reveals a hidden cove where tourists can enjoy a one-of-a-kind view of the ocean. The viewpoint is renowned for its rolling hills that's filled with a variety of low and high slopes, giving visitors different perspectives of the unique scenery. Next stop, Chabayan Village, which happens to be one of the smallest villages on Sabtang Island. The village is situated between mountain ranges and the open sea. The primary dwelling of the locals are stone houses lined along a narrow street, some of which are actually more than 100 years old. There's a beauty that guides us Like a fire in the night As the sun shines Now, if you're into unique, scenic, and picturesque views, this is the place to be. We could write and end the story Through the struggle and the glory By your side, I will stay We will never Fade away. 
after a wonderful trip in Sabtang Island, off we go back to Bataan. So we're here back in uh, Ivana. No? So we're here checking out the oldest standing functional house in the area. It's, the, it's called the House of Takai. So before we even describe what it is, let's go inside and check it out. Go ahead. So we managed to get inside this house. Once it's actually very cool inside, I guess it's because of the flooring and the open architecture. But uh, we realized uh, the Kai is actually the nickname of uh, Mr. Jose Estrella, the original owner of this home. Now it's a typical uh, or stereotype Ivatan uh, house or abode. Because um, you have there the Kogon roofing which normally lasts about 25 to 30 years. But this one, nga, it's it's still up after 35 30, years. Yeah. Tapos the walls are very uh, tough and made out of lime. So if you get to visit uh, Batani, make sure to check out this place because this is the oldest and functional standing na, na bahay in the Ibatan. As a matter of fact, it's so old and Brazilian, because it was a 8.3 na magnitude na earthquake, and it survived. And you know, I like to emphasize the symbolism of resilience, because we mga Pinoy, we really admire that virtue na yeah. natin. So that's one thing that I like about the emphasize dito sa story of house. Na to. It's also nice that uh, most of the houses here, including this one, by any hand style, that's how they yeah. put up. So, and the com community gets together and helps put up the houses. So, it speaks a lot about the people of, of, of Batanes. I know. Check out other places. Let's go. Checking out the white beach here, so it's one of the more accessible beaches here. Tapos, as the name connotes, white beach. So we're gonna check it out. The slopes of Bayang rolling hills rise and dive subtly, forming a crumpled terrain that is covered by grass. While this is a food and rest area for cows and goats, this is a site where you can actually see all the three major islands of Batanes, Batan, Sabtang, and Itbayan. Here at the last, the last stop of our visit and the last stop of our day too. Napaganda ng view, di ba? Dito sa Basco Lighthouse. Basco Lighthouse, di ba? So ang ganda talaga ng view. Uh, lagi ko nakikita to Herbie uh, sa mga videos, sa uh, mga pictures. Sikat na sikat tong lighthouse na to. Pero wala akong masyadong alam na information. So okay lang ba ni educate mo naman ako kung I'll, ano ba talagang story. Sige, I'll lighthouse. try ah. Uh, based okay. lang sa aking stock knowledge. Oh, okay, stock knowledge. Well, sure. first of all, obviously, ang dami pupunta dito mga turista. Kasi kita mo naman yung view. I mean, look at that sunset. But even without that sunset, you have a good view of Batan. 
ba? Where we came from. Sobra. And of course, all these other pastures, di ba? Ang ganda. Talagang very, very, very picturesque. But on the history side, this was actually constructed in 2002, uh, really to help guide the seafarers come back to land. Oh, and back since home, then, yes, yes. So, siempre mag ma maulan and all that. Now, this tower we're on is actually 66 feet above the Nidia uh, Hill. Yan. So. Oh, oh, yung kata. Pasensya na kayo, yun lang ang medyo na ano ko, ah, stock knowledge sa utak ko. Nah, okay na, content pero, na sa stock knowledge. Pero apart from that, kita nyo naman, I mean, this is enough reason to come back here. Right? Beautiful. Kaya, I mean, to our viewers, if you decide to finally go back or come back to Batanes, make sure to make this one of your stops. Better yet, sunset. Para perfect talaga. Worth it. Hey! I know, explore pa natin the rest of the place. Tara. Tara. Let's go. Ano ba mix it dito? After watching that amazing sunset, it was time to try out some of the best places to get great food in Batanes. So that's it. That ends our feature here in Batanes. As always, bitin. But I'm glad we had friends this time to make it more exciting and for me to have more fun. So thank you, Nico, for uh, for joining the vlog. Thank it's, you. It's also your first time, no? Just first time. This mind. First time. Kukulaga. So tell me, what are your impressions? Speechless nga ako nung una eh. Na ini iniisip ko kung ano na uh, na iniisip ko kung ano yung na aalala ko. Tapos Ang hirap maalala kasi lahat magaganda. <laughs> lahat ng mga ito, views, nakaka-speechless, pero sobrang ganda at nakaka-proud talaga na part siya ng Pilipinas. And as they say, I mean, it is definitely true. You have to be here to really, you know, uh, appreciate how beautiful Batanes is, no, this part of the country. Apart from Nico, we also want to thank the people who made this possible, no? first and foremost. Yung, uh, where we stayed. Oh, yeah. Diba? Hillside Lodge. Hillside Lodge. So, thank you. Very beautiful place. Full of the surrounded by nature. They have two rooms, good for five people. And they have a second floor where you have a very scenic view. Nice view. Diba? Ocean, dagat, mga bundok. Oh, special mention. Ate Rose. Thank you very much for taking care of us. Mami yeah, miss kita, Ate Rose. Mami miss ka namin. Mm -hmm. We also want to thank, of course, our uh, the tour agency who made this also possible, Batanes Tours. You know, they really made sure that we covered as much attractions as possible. And special mention, of course, our constant companions throughout these two days, three days, 
Uh, C, Emil, or C, Mel. Yes, at uh, the one na nagda-drive sa atin. Oh, yeah. uh, no other than Kuya Jay. So, uh, hindi mo talaga makakalimutan ng tandem nila. Oh, si Mel and Jay. Mel so, and si, Jay. So, si Mel yung local tour guide and then si Jay yung aming driver. We also want to thank from Batanis Tours, of course, Sir Dominic, and of course, si... Uh, si Da! Who found my wallet na naiwan ko sa sabtang. Thank you very, very much. I owe you one. Uh, people here are really honest. Sobra. Kaya nga, ano yun? Honesty... Yung honesty, honesty store. store. Okay. So, napatunayan okay. namin yun. Oo nga. We also, Even outside the honesty oh, store. Oh, we also want to thank... Grabe, ang dami nangyari dito. Ang dami nagpakain. Uh, yung nagpakain sa atin ng Uved at saka ng Len Lu... Uh, Lunes. Okay. Buti ka. Nakaalala mo yung mga oh. terms. So, these are local cuisines. Uh, uh, made, uh, tinuroan pa kami ni Miss Jessica how, how to cook it. Uh, paano ibalot, yeah. paano i-unwrap, yeah. yeah. sobra. Uh, experience talaga. Hindi lang yung food quality, kundi pati yung experience, customer service. Superb. Yeah, we'll post uh, yung social media accounts nila dito. They have a, so it's uh, Mrs. Uh, yung dinet, no? May dinet siya dito. Uh, no, ba tayo kumain? Dami natin kinainan. Dami talaga. Uh, <laughs> Lantia. Lantia. Lantian. Oh, pizza. Yeah, the pizza was really good. Full as we were from <laughs> eating all the local uh, cuisine. Yeah. We also had the pizza from Lantian, which was <sighs> worth the trip. You guys, if you go to Batanes, try it out. Super uh, masarap yung pizza. But um, tip, you order ahead. Uh, it takes a while because it's really built and made. Made from, to order talaga. Oh, tsaka made from scratch. No? So, sarap. Masarap yung food. Oh. Um, Mayroon pa ba tayong pasalamata? Yung lobster. 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 And of course, yung pinaka-ole sa residensya. May connect ka ba doon? Oo. Oh, oh. um, okay, so... That's another, that's another resto. Uh, hotel resto you can check out. Ganda uh, ng place din. Ambience. Well, again, on the same night. <laughs> yeah. They serve this food. So we had... Was that lobster? Lobster. Lobster, and then, tapos mga fresh na isda. Fresh, fresh, fresh na huli na isda. Yeah. And then, chicken. Iisipin mo chicken lang, pero yeah. masarap. At one of my favorites are roasted chicken. Anyway, so many people to thank for, uh, to thank, uh, for this trip. Um, we'll put all their social media accounts and contact details in the description box below. We had so much fun. We will definitely be back. Um, but for now, we just really hope you are able to enjoy and really appreciate Patanes, even from our point of view. We hope you enjoyed the watching the vlog as much as we did filming it. Um, and if you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, subscribe again. and follow. Yeah, and again, if you have any suggestions on where else we can go, please put them in the comment section below. So, uh, this is Herbie. And this is Nico on behalf of Bob of NS TV Travel Vlog. See you at the next stop. As I mentioned, the pinaka ah. here at Roslyn Pahelga. Hindi. Ay, ano, hilltop? ano pa hilltop? <laughs> Ay, hillside. Ay, hillside. Ay, okay, no, yun, yun. Kasi hilltop ng hillside. Eh. Uh, kasama, so, nat kasama natin si Ati Marie. Hi, hi, oh, hello. Hi, Chipale. Hello. Ay, hoy, hoy. Hoy. <laughs> Ginawa namang iba tan, pero hapon nang gumamit. Grabe, no? Huwag na grabe, no? <laughs> Gra grabe, no? <laughs> so we finally made here to... Nakalimutan ko na lahat. Ano nga tawag dito? That was a very nice climb, but we're finally here at... Napakaganda naman talaga ng view. Uh, Herbie, question ko lang. Teka lang, at... saan muna tayo? Di mo ko sinasak. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Wow, that was quite a climb, pero 
worth the view. Dito sa tower ng Pasco Lights. That li lighthouse, pops. Uh, lighthouse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stug, stug, stug. <laughs> Grabe. It's both our first time. <sighs> Sorry. So this is Herbie. This is Nico. Of Ennis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is Herbie. This is Nico. On behalf of Bob. Of Ennis TV, TV Travel, Travel Blog. Blog. See you at the next. Oh, no, no, no. So this is Herbie. This is Nico. On okay. behalf of Bob. <laughs>